All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bosnia. And which, let me tell you something, people. Um, uh, once again, just like if you saw the uh, yesterday's video with Parrot to Rome, my other series with Thieves, um, where I'm having a bit of schedule changes based on how I record and whatnot. Even though I feel like I've reached its peak with the Bosnian series ever since we met the schism, but. I still want to unite the South Slavs because there's still many lands that we have to take. But it's going to be a while before we meet that requirement. And then I will consider it a possible end to the series. But who knows. Maybe it's just I'm starting to feel burnt out. Um, because, you know, let's go to a series. My sleep schedule's all screwy, which I can fix it. And, uh... And my interest in doing the um, Prussian series, which is likely going to be the next country I'll play as, um, in the, uh, although I had a few, um, well, positive feedback on the idea of doing a CK2, yes, CK2, Crusader Kings 2 series on Prussia, but on the historical immersion project. Um, and not to mention, I will also be using a few mods on that series as well. Um, so it's highly likely now that once I'm done with Bosnia, and it's going to be soon, um, that I will start, well, recording the, the Prussian series, which has been a passion project of mine. That that's something I've wanted to do for nearly a year now, ever since I finished the um, Sogdian series. So I know I had that poll where... I was supposed to do a CK3 Prussian series, and I'm like, you know what, no, let's do um, CK2 because, um, it's not because I missed the game, it's just, it's that overhaul mod that just never had a chance to do it, and until, you know, well, I really want to do it. I'm really invested in that sort of thing. But also, um, or what of the future, I was thinking, maybe I should just, like, this Bosnian series, is, as I said, reached its peak. It probably pretty much outdid Asturias, Bactria, and um, Sonia Dava, India, as well. Like, I just pretty much outdid them all in terms of accomplishment. I mean, mending the schism as a Christiani, never been done before. Formed the Kingdom of Bosnia, never been done before. And, um, and I took it to great heights. It's almost like, well, what else is there to do? Well, there is one. Unite the South Slavs. Still have to do that, as I'll show you the outline of South Slavia. If you see any of them, the highline and outline that is not Bosnian, those are the lands we must take. Well, it's kind of interesting they never recognized Bosnia as part of the goal because of what we formed it ourselves. And it kind of makes me wonder, um... What happens if we are able to get all these lands and yet we still can't unite it because of the primary title? And in this being an empire override that? I don't know, but I will try to go for it. I don't know if it's going to happen in this episode, but most certainly the next. Get rid of that outline. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, also I have a slight headache in my head, so I will. So this is the only episode that'll be posted today. Not two episodes. I'm toning down on the schedule for for reasons. Not to mention, I feel that the series is starting to wind down now. But remember your priority. Seize all the your lands, which you need. Five thousand prestige. And the best way to get prestige is to, well, do some activities or fight in small wars, especially against the Arabian Empire, where we not only get a lot of piety from them, but also sometimes prestige in fighting in glorious battles. Which we are strong enough to take them on. We have no peace deals with anyone. And um, as for Empress Mara... Yeah, her reign just started recently. So that's likely we'll start fighting against the Arabian Empire because remember, um, I still have, you know, ideas. Been gone to pilgrimage. And here's one thing about Mara. 
She is the most virtuous ruler in Bosnian history. In Bosnian history. And I believe that is the first time I've ever played as a character who has all three traits that are considered virtues in one's faith. <laughs> and had to be the Empress of all things, or in Slavic terms, Tsarina. Oh, I hit my cell phone a long time. Anyways. Oh, what to do, what to do, what to do. I mean, fighting against the Raven Empire by declaring holy wars won't cost us any prestige, but it does cost in piety, and sometimes you get prestige by winning in such battles. Are they doing anything? Oh, plenty. And not in a good way for them. Which, again, we would love to control all of uh, Mesopotamia in order to usurp the um, Sultanate of Mesopotamia. We have Baghdad. But I believe we can go further south. This way. Towards the Persian Gulf. Taking Persia would just be going far in our way. And also bear in mind that during this period there's a, a potential uh, Mongol threat out there. And I use the term potential loosely. Though Temujin is ailing right now. But remember from our experience from Bactria in this channel, um, when he dies, it's not going to get rid of the spawn troops. In fact, it'll create more. And then when that rule, the second ruler dies, it happens again. And it's only when the third ruler dies, Mongol invasion period over. But I do not view them as a threat. If they go through here, then we'll start considering them seriously as a threat to Bosnian interests. So, Arabian Empire it is. Question is, where? Or just take the whole Arabia, but the problem is we don't have enough prestige. Did I say Arabia? I mean, uh, Mesopotamia. The holy war it is, then. And it is towards that direction I was talking about. Whatever gets us more land. Step back. Start here. At some point, I gotta get rid of all that stress. What do you mean, send child to university? Anyways, um, I'm trying to think of something else in my mind as the war progresses. Oh, yes, there's an update on this mo one of the mods that I use for the series, the um. Oh, I forgot the name of it, um, because, you know, it's been a while since I've last recorded a Bosnian episode, because I recorded it more than a week ago, honestly, so I kind of slightly forgot about a couple of things, oh, including the names. That's the reason why I'm committed to other projects, or making recordings ahead of time. 
such as that proposed Prussian series for the um, historical Russian project of Crusader Kings 2. As I said, again, part of me is just me feeling burnt out. God, so many levees, it's causing the frame rates to, you know, go to... Yeah, this way. Again, like to everybody on Moss, because it's just our way to, well... Capture these areas faster than you can say Blitzkrieg, one would think, in the old terms. Well, not that old. I forgot that I'm giving out a promise to challenge by training him, I should say, so he's now an aspiring Blade Master. I mean, he's my only son, right? Let me see. No. God, you don't even remember your children, Lord Master. Damn it. Heir to the kingdom of the Bonin. Oh, yes. I remember. Nicolina, based on these traits, compared to um, Ivanish, not so much. Nor pre Boya, but. Do you really care about, uh, I mean, it's like, yeah, you got Amazonian and genius, but... I don't know, is that somebody you would want? I mean, we still run the elective system here, which... <laughs> which, again, if I were to introduce elective to the Empire, it would be a huge mistake. Because you got so many electors, and... The votes would all be divided unless they have a high opinion towards me, then they'll vote for whoever I am voting for. That's too much work. Imperial elective, almost like in a sense. But not like Byzantine imperial elective. But you get the idea. Plenty of years ahead of me. Some ports are more fortified than others. Just take this area, then well, one more area to take. The um, uh, the time uh, Vanus was spending at the university is at an end. He was at the university. Oh, don't forget that, um, that you can still designate the, uh, as long as the Liberty Faction doesn't, you know, get antsy about it. What the hell are you saying, Lord Master? Maybe perhaps I'd like it because of the prowess skill. Continuing that martial tradition. So I'll designate the air instead of voting for one. Oh, put Pannonia in. Don't you know that's the biggest vassal of the kingdoms?
I mean, sure, the prestige gain is steady, but um, we could do more clearly. I guess it's already high enough for him. Okay, one more area. And then we'll split our forces and roam them around in the floodplains where there's a lot of supply. Don't want to let the troops starve out now, do we? Servants all been sent away in our beds with Decker, Rosa, Zemper, and Bezenzo. Hence our chambers and smiles tenderly, it joins without any hesitation. With the helps of hands, mouths, and limbs, we affirm the devotion we swore before God. Perhaps a more carnal fashion than attended. Now you get to be my lover and lay with me because I would like to have at least one more child. At least one more. Be paragon of virtue soon enough. Then we can declare a kingdom holy war, likely for Arabia. As we said before, and it's one of my favorite tactics in uh, expansionism in strategy games, and that is hit them where it hurts. Holy sites, areas with the largest population development, cities, all that, where the power lies. All right, head to here and we'll split them up. And we dare anyone that tries to take them. Okay. And don't let the tone of my voice fool you people. Does it sound like I am bored with this series and want to move on to something else? Not quite. For me it's just, well, I know it's in the middle of the afternoon. God dang, that's still not enough. Oh. It'll be stationed here. Okay, who else? Okay, you don't want siege weapons. Um, go take Wasset. Not to be confused with Wasset, which is, you know, similar sounding to, um, I don't know. I just pretty much lost my train of thought. Yo, the over there. And spend our time here, so again. Battery supply. I got a middle of the afternoon. I've only been awake for about oh what time did I wake up this morning? Eleven. So I've been awake for three hours, so so I got, had a brunch and went to pick up trash outside. Um, so, you know, Fowler can cut the grass later. And then, um, only been awake for another three hours. So, yes, I definitely need to adjust my sleeping schedule. <laughs> but hey, <laughs> committed to other things is another. Where are the. Donu? The Danu Grand Mirate. That's for all. Oh, they came from Gujarat. They came from Gujarat and they took it all and they could potentially form Persia. But I don't think it'll be enough. Okay. My vassal mayor Dragota has arrived at my castle of a grand procession of well dressed diplomats, knights, and exotic entertainers. The fellowship resembles a parade. Uh, Led by Dragutin himself, in a booming voice, announced that he's here to pay homage and he comes bearing gifts of gold. Such generosity is 
is hard to find a subject. It all tastes truly something to be treasured. Keep the gold. I'm just trying to be nice here. You know, it's for the prestige. I'll do anything to get more prestige. Yeah. Mothered many children. That's the reason why I have more children. right next to it. Take that too. Additional war score. Oh, sickly child. But he's robust. It can manage. Now I'm a paragon of virtue. Oh, a big fat sinner. Oh, he's been excommunicated. Ah, I see. He done a bad thing and he got excommunicated for it. That makes it easier for us. Absolute control. Again, would like to be the overseer. The king's got the right idea. Cause he's the king. You're a mayor. Oh finally, here comes a battle that we've been waiting for. If they're willing to go all the way. Oh actually they're on retreat. Didn't know that. Chase the bastards down. I don't think it's a good idea because it's all levies, so we're coming to assist you. This will definitely win us the war. Hey, gads. Got it. And remember, every time you win a holy war, you vassalize. Oh, great. A zealous man. He's gonna be hard to please. Not if I sway him. I pay him money because I am generous. And demanding a conversion would be very hard, but if we can just win him over, then he'll be a Christiani ruler. And maybe, potentially, for either of you two, the future Sultan or King Krai of Mesopotamia under the Bosnian Empire. Now send the money to us. Gain the prestige. Thank you very much. Think about saving my legacy to get um, uh, treasured knowledge. Because we have a tendency where we do martial first and then a late knife go to learning. It's 
Not gonna be till next year. You could be whatever you want to be. But I have the final say on who gets to be the heir to the Empire. And it's likely going to be her. Yeah, he's, he lost all that money because of signing these peace deals because he cannot conquer them all at once. And also, I don't think he can declare war at all if he's got no money. So he's just going to sit there and then do nothing. Of course, once he dies, then begins the next uh, wave of Mongol invasion. So if we want to, we could take Persia. Bosnia and Persia. Of course, that means you uh, basically, it's like, well, now you've taken your head on to, you know, going through there and then into India, but I believe that'll be too high of a price for us. Especially the further east you go, you'll be meeting them in the future. That's why I said be willing. Let's go as far as Mesopotamia, not Persia. You know, Bosnia and Persia sounds like an interesting idea, but do not forget your original mission. And we need prestige. Maybe perhaps I should switch to Majesty once I become an overseer. I mean, having all this is good and all, but if you really want the good stuff, well, this is what this is for. Okay, we do have this issue. Alright, time to go hunting for prestige and stress reduction. Did I just... I didn't see that. My son, Ivanish, went on ahead of the group chasing a bear. I follow close behind him, find him standing above a commoner. Tugging an arrow out of a poor woman's chest. As soon as he sees it, he hides there behind his back. It was the bear mother, I swear. Soon enough, the rest of the party catch up and demand the explanation. See, this is why you're not going to be the heir of the Empire in the future. Because you could potentially be a screw-up. But I'll just say, Vanus fought finally the saver. I saw it. Everyone believes me. Now, illustrious. Jumped ahead on a martial lifestyle. Honest again. Um, wide eyes of my words to realize what I just said about Jonah. Uh, I struggled to push my ticket. I've had too much to try to get along. Don't trust the word I say. Parts of, you know, that she's a cannibal. And has lover's box, so don't ask. She's probably the person who, you know, had it. Oh, I'm 
an overseer. So that adds up to the control group. Too bad I can't execute infidels, because don't you know that I am compassionate? I'm an eager reveler now. Add up a little bit more for stage. But please bear in mind. Season all you gotta have this much. Alternatively, you could just uh, fight against them bit by bit. For, you know, these lands. Especially the big prize. But I would rather take it all at once. Because it would just feel grand. So perhaps this is the best way. So I'm going to take off that stratus run. I do not typically do that, but... I know it's going to add up more prestige faster and go to whatever base there is, and then you shall win. What do you mean, win? What are you winning on? Oh, no. I know I'm a witch. Sometimes I can be too nice to folks to be telling secrets when you're going to be up and honest about it. All that stress is gone. Let me see. Oh no, that gets prestige, but not me getting prestige. Everybody wants me in their face. I'm the life of the party to some. What's this feudal contract? Yeah. There. Slight prestige gain. And I gotta do something with that money. It's true, you've got all this time now. Even if it means having even more levies than there should be. Oh my goodness, I forgot something that I should have known since the last conflict. We have forgot to introduce the bombards, because I believe we have them now. Yes, we do. So get rid of the trebuchets. Bring on the bombards. Since we have all this money now. We're not going anywhere anytime soon while we concern ourselves about prestige, so let's 
take this time to have on bards. <laughs> the earlier you did say that how swift you take these fortresses down, well, now we're going to be even swifter with the addition of these cannons on bards. Yet. I, don't, I think he's just going to sit there and do nothing. But sometimes his vassals will be fighting for him. Lapland, the last stronghold of the Asatru pagans. Don't even think about it. Alright, I'll go to the one more beast. Oh yes, I remember something else. Um, see, Ivanish here, for example, he's our knight, right? Now, um, from the... Well, from that mod that I use for all the customization of all these, you know, the clothing and that sort of thing. Um, well, they added some new ones, and that's for the uh, Middle Eastern cultures, such as um, the uh, Iranians. So you could say this is like the latter armors, for example. Of course, he wears Slavic ones, but now it's what the Iranian headgear looks like. The common hat. And then there's these uh, combat helmets for the Iranian cultures be it Persians, Kurdish, Sogdians, Tokharians, Shakas. What they wear. Even this leather helmet, which kind of looks like a modern helmet in our modern eyes. But uh, clearly, that's what um, medieval Iranians looked like in combat, wearing all these types of helmets. And be wearing that kind of armor based on the way it um, looks. Compared to the regular old Arabic armor, and this is Arabic letter. And then there's Arabic chainmail, which looks suspiciously, looks like, um, in, yeah, low nobility clothing. So maybe um, they'll fix that in a next patch, just to be more correct on, you know, what wears what. But, anyways. Three thousand more, and he's no longer sickly because Ostoya is robust. Would you like to be Christiani? No, no, don't be a drunkard. I want to be modern. The time we'll be spending at the university is an end. Maybe it just does it automatically, just based on what the text says.
be the lord. And pretty much chivalry this time, since I taught him well. And, and well taught he is. Again, I don't think a lot's going to be happening, unless we fight the Arabian Empire again in two years' time, so I'm speeding it up. Because there's not going to be a lot going on here. Glad to see Bosnia to become just as developed as most of the European entities, especially that we hold the most developed region in Constantinople. And going down to the riches of Mesopotamia. Got a hook on night. And soon get to up to three thousand. And start working on being August. Commissioning an epic and getting more prestige out would be excellent. So I don't know if I'll get it by then. Oh, drunkenness is a sin. You're not so zealous anymore, ain't you? And remember, refusing conversion is a crime. So after this, next time, um, this way, then, um, well, it's your last chance. Just in the headset because it just keeps falling out of my head. Here's the native sun guidance because his learning skill is. Very appalling. Out. There is a way to get more prestige. I keep forgetting about this. And you are the best one in the world. See? Why aren't you doing that? It's like, we already got domestic affairs settled. Now let's just get foreigners around the world. And my shrinkies are good people. Increase way scheme power as we're just trying to, you know, get this man to be on our side. Start. It's every two years that I pick up on it. Make you ambitious. You know, the Trovador keeps pronouncing lines of love and desire. I try to keep sh try to keep from showing the rest of the love of the court. I'm flattered, I feel. Though he is veiled behind metaphor and allegory, I know that this dedication was from uh, Samuel to me. Sickly, stickly syrup. I was eating some baklava as a snack while reviewing some documents. I forget to wipe my hands before I end on the parchment. All I got is sticky back of syrup over. That's unfortunate. We have standing armies, which we can increase the size of men at arms regiments even more. What else? Nine years. We're probably going to get to 5,000 before nine years. Oh, they were often uh, performers of the but this time we promised something special. And I certainly got it. As Trovador starts here, I understand that I tried 
Not to show how flattered I am by this dedication directed me in front of the entire court. He's truly outdone himself. The more he keeps raising his armies, the more he's paying. He's convinced, so... Alright. It worked. So... You will be a Christiani ruler. Like it or not. Last three gone. Again, I'd rather much fight the Byzantine Empire to unite the South Slavic lands in one swift stroke rather than a multitude of wars. Empire has taken um, has taken Nitra in a holy war. Oh, don't you know that's Christiani land? You will pay dearly for this by taking Nitra, even though it's far separated from the Byzantine Empire. Well, that's on him for being stressful. Be careful when you go to too many feasts. I'd rather be going to my own feast that I start, for prestige reasons, rather than someone else's. <laughs> Again, we're ready for war anytime. Wait. Yes, the Arabian Empire. Okay. For Mesopotamia or Arabia? There is no Sunni Caliphate, and yet, usually, one of the requirements to form a caliphate is to hold Dana and Mecca, but to ensure that they never return oh, a kingdom holy war. For Arabia, which is a huge sway of land to take, would be the knockout blow. Um, Bosnian Arabia would be hell of a place to govern. I mean, again, it's just a whole nother land. And, and let me hold control. And there's plenty of them underneath. Especially, uh... There's two Hassan Emirates. Two different Hassan. So... Which are cadet branches. And they're not doing anything right now. They're ready for war, which means, hey, when we fight them in a pitch battle, that's going to jump up our prestige. Slow down here so we can understand this situation better. So 
So, Arabia. So, should move the rally point to Jerusalem. We'll raise our troops and then start working our way down. And try to head all the way to its capital. For a much bigger war score. And then Arabia will be ours. There will be a lot of Muslim subjects underneath the Bosnian uh, governance. But we'll try to get them to be Christianic because we never persecuted their culture. We preserved it. What we do is to win their hearts and minds to come to our faith that appeals to everybody. Um, there is no such thing as persecution. Well, that depends on who's ruling and whatnot. And of course, you know, there's going to have to be a... Is there a Kingdom of Arabia title exist yet? No. We could create one. And we'll put a Tezilovich in there to govern it. You know, another kingdom for a dynasty. So Arabia first, Mesopotamia later. And then after that, you're next. Where's their capital? What happened to the old one? It stalled my faction demand. Where's his capital? Oh, he's he's from over there. It's Salerno. As I said, we'll do you with you later. And this is also going to be the first war we'll bring out the bombards. Once in a lifetime. We barely make more money. the building improvements, the development of the lands, the taxes. We make a profit despite the fact that we raise the largest armies in the world. Here's a level 3 fort. Storm the area and watch how these bombards perform when we bring them en masse. Already less than a month. Also, you were trying to seduce me. Don't you know I'm chased? Leave me alone. We brought them all here. I think it was already that fast, much less speed, even if we had tributaries. But it's a start. So. Again, skip it over and just work your way down towards Medina. Over here to Tabuk. Oh, I missed out on that legacy. And you know, we've been working on diplomacy a bit, so how about earning respect instead of 
further knowledge. This is for the sake of the prestige. Voiska. Isn't that odd that it would be brought here to 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 destroy um, the very heart of Islam by conquering it? Despite the fact in real life that we know that Bosnia and Herzegovina is a Muslim majority country in the heart of Europe, um, sounds rather contradictory. But this being Crusader Kings three, anything can happen. Anything can happen on Crusader Kings and Paradox Interactive games like these. Which is why I said earlier that that our, the past few episodes I think we've reached its peak. Almost there. Almost to Almadena. And Mecca's right around the corner. There goes my friend, Queen of Serbia. I think they're going to Mesopotamia. That's a bit far off from... Oh, no! They're this way now. Well, says Medina, then get back up there. Because we need to fight a pitch battle and get a lot of prestige out of that. One play prestige for powerful vassal on the council. That'll be up. And so we made more. Powerful, 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 not powerful. Perhaps we can appoint one more powerful, who isn't as good in the intrigue, but I think everybody likes me enough. They have faster prestige game now. Head to there, quickly! the stress even further because again this is a forgiving compassionate chaste character which as virtuous she may be you could say the thought of being mean or murderous thoughts would just lose her mind here comes more Owner is slightly in debt. Nine percent.
big jump of, of fame gain. Which is a uh, whole well, progress towards that. Okay, screw it, just take one more homing, then we win. Gotta be more vigilant for this. Just break the walls down to Jericho, even though that's not where Jericho is, but... You know, we're just, simply speaking, since we're near the Holy Land. Arabia is now Bosnian territory. As we'll prepare for a hunt. Boy, all these um, vassals. And since I have a lot of money, again, this is a part of the generosity. It's like, here's some money and we hope for you to join the Christianity faith. If not, then that's on you. I'm not going to arrest you, but instead we will appoint a new overlord of uh, Arabia. A Bosnian king of Arabia. Again, we never persecuted their culture. We just want them to, again, change their minds. Win their hearts and minds to say, hey, join the Christianity faith. We are a very tolerant kind of Christian, and we respect, to a degree, other things that you worship. Even though our view towards you is evil, and you consider us evil, but, come on, you're not all that evil. You could say the faith is the issue, but not the people. Again, from a Christiani point of view of things. We mended the Christians, because we united Christianity to a degree. It's just what we did was... Yeah. And we're not trying to say that we're the rightful rulers of the world. We're not, you know... We're not doing this in an Alexandrian way of, you know, conquering the whole damn world. <laughs> As I said before, even if some of you do refuse, then that's on you. Okay. Kingdom of Arabia is now created. Even though Oman is left out. But we'll probably fight them too in the future. In fact, the Emirate of Oman is one big area, which we could take that with ease. The Dejor capital is here, in Mandy. Okay, now Tesla Lovitu doesn't stand to inherit. Chased arbitrary cynical. I think you'll do. With that diplomacy education, those Arabs will look highly on you. Despite the fact that you are arbitrary, so that probably won't be good, but I'm sure you can deal with that. And if there's going to be any uprisings, you have the holy order to put down any potential uprisings. And get well soon. Because you will be governing this region. You are a cry of Arabia. There, now the uh, Mashari faith and all the others can never have their caliphates formed ever again. Thus reducing 
of potential jihads against Bosnia or others. Remember, the road to 5,000 prestige is still far off. Some will convert, some won't. We cook on me? No. You will have to answer to him now. I will not arrest you. Again, you will answer to Stipe. Short for Stepan. Anyways, time to hunt. We ride for the prestige. Gain prestige, but I gain stress because I'm compassionate. That's not gonna do good for our commander. But I had to do it because of opinion. a well-developed area, at least um, on the western half, not so much on the other side. Now the king of Syria knows that I'm a witch, and he's likely going to blackmail me for this since he's a, a powerful vassal in his own right. I mean, he's my spy master too. Oh, I cannot say no to him. Now I'm a famous rebel. Just a thousand more. Ekma. I guess it's related to Egypt, huh, area. God and my trust is his motto. But they call him the greedy. So in the coming years, you're gonna start seeing Christianity begin to spread in Arabia. Okay, you got me. What are, what are you going to do? Lower your taxes? Next area to take, but give it a bit of time. I mean, I know we're fully recovered by then. It's just the vassal opinion of offensive wars. Just let it go down a bit. Don't do it so down constantly. Like I said, we'll go as far as Oman and, and we shall reach it no more. And too far away to interact with any Indian nations except for Gujarat, which made its way into Persia. Guess you could be chased too. Chastity is a beautiful thing. As a virtue, is what I'm trying to say. 
We'll start the war first thing next year. Back to Bosnia. Because more taxes, that's why. This again. Nobody gonna mess with boss now. There's the new Kagan. And he's got his new batch of uh, special soldiers. So this is the second wave. And he's got money, so... He's good. He just declared a war, and then it ended. What the hell was that? Um, as I said, he's got the money now, so he's going to be hell bent on conquest very soon. Culture has discovered royal armory, which will unlock all late medieval era military buildings and even faster levy reinforcement rate. And in six years, we'll get even more monthly prestige. It's all open terrain, so put it here. Actually, no, there's a bit more supply here. So that's a bit of a precarious position. Then we'll start working our way to take over all the areas of Oman. They may bring their ally over here, but it ain't gonna scare us. Don't need to seize it, that costs prestige. Use your piety to bring out a Banite. Of Oman will come to Bosnia. Monthly prestige per dread, even though I'm not a dreadful person by any stretch of the imagination. Because I'm too compassionate for that, but also an overseer. It's like I may be nice, but I like to have a firm grip on control of everything. The Bosnians control everything. A burn. While walking through the hallway at night, I got too close to torch and burn myself. The burns are minor, but easily treated with some herbs and ointments, but it does hurt. I'd be careful not to get close to those torches again. Now all 
these forces are over here. Put them up. Based on those numbers and the siege weapons to bring, this army is the one that's going to continue the siege. One's going to be, the other's going to be for combat. Fight against them. Yeah. Basically. And we can win it decisively. At least I don't need to lead an army, because I'm not that good advantage-wise. Because I did not because uh, I decided not to commit myself in, in that way for a long time. So we're going to fight them all at once. Bit by bit. Here they come. Another area of siege. This way. That'll send them running. But of course, all these little fellas are now um, part of the Empire. Zealous, he cannot be convinced. Since you're my captive, demand conversion and you'll keep your land. A lot of really zealous guys out there. Oh, you can govern these two. This area is yours. And so are they. You'll have to answer to them too. They'll have to answer to you. I should just say. Like if they got a problem, you'll deal with it, Stipe. Now we do have contact with some of the Indian realms. But not this one. Yes, we do have contact with them. Which, of course, they're all Muslims up there. But they'll have their different kind of home. Um, India will not be part of Bosnia's expansionist uh, campaign. I believe the Mongol Empire has something to say about it. If they can even win at anything. I mean, if the Mongol Empire were to ever come to Bosnia, we'll put up a good fight against them. No doubt. No doubt at all. Wait a minute. No, there's still the truce. Because I was wondering, it's like, well, who's... It's, um, 
this one. Still three years. In three years, then we'll get that Claymore War to get the rest of Mesopotamia. Then we'll finish up our Eastern Conquests. And put our main focus towards the Byzantine Empire and get all the lands. Which will happen in the next episode. Just to put a bow on it. On that statement of what the Empire of Bosnia is. And if there's ever going to be a time that all of this is going to be separated from the main Bosnian Empire, I wouldn't feel bad about it. It's just we established <laughs> ourselves by going to the more highly developed regions. Yeah, I knew it. It was the taxes. But it's alright. We've acquired more land with higher development. We have a history of winning. As we said before, Bosnia had a history of winning. Uniting Christianity by under the Christianic faith. And then subsequently, um, in the in the inland the European part of the Bosnia Empire, we're going to have our own version of the Greater Yugoslavia. Something that one or a few persons have dreamt of it but never accomplished. King Amir's apology sounds genuine, but the error of seems almost too ludicrous to be. You see, my liege, my smile success. It was simply, simply a matter of sending the wrong letter to the wrong court, dear Holtzberg. So that's how the incriminating documents were lost. Everybody knows I'm a witch, isn't it? Get away, cook on them. Everyone makes mistakes, Amir. Yeah. Forgive you. If only you could change it back, but no, you cannot. That's the one that knows. Okay, you got it. Even though you're just. Do not worry. When we control the, you know, the coastal areas in the future, it will be connected to Constantinople by sea. Because I believe doing, you know, one at a time wars with the Byzantine Empire would just be a waste of time. Well, she's the one that got a strong hook on me. Or has a hook on me. No, it was a weak one. I remember. Thank you for helping me get rid of the stress. Two years time. Um, in fact, in those two years actually, 1252 that's when the truce with the Arabian Empire expires. And we'll fight against them one more time. For Mesopotamia. And putting the conclusion on Eastern conquests under the Bosnian flag. Because, as I said, no doubt the next episode will be with uniting the South Slavs by fighting one swift war against them. Then that'll be it for this ambition, anyhow. In which nobody could stop us, and not even that burgeoning Mongol Empire, which, <laughs> which I don't even know what the heck they're doing. I just gained some territory. I saw that. Oh, 
Oh, by the way, the special buildings. You have, of course, deactivated. Because not a Muslim. And Mecca, Great Mosque, also deactivated because not a Muslim. Well done. About to look. Oh my goodness, the bastard child. Fornicator. Christian opinion would just be down a bit. Let me just pick up one more perk and then I will end the episode because I'm saving this momentous occasion on the next episode of Unifying the Soft Slavs. And I'll subsequently go to the pilgrimage and lower your damn taxes. Because I came from Jerusalem, that was valuable. There are just some things I just want to shut my mouth on telling of the witch secrets. What I truly want to see is foreign lands. When you have further up a diplomacy, that adds a bit of prestige gain. for level devotion yes get that up anything to get a prestige up to 5,000 some odd slightly increased now predatorian guard so that's monthly prestige per night soon become a true ruler in two years and in four years I will commission an epic. It'll be the first time that we'll commission a Bosnian epic of sorts. Since the days it was just a, a wee bit banned under Croatia. <laughs> Never forget who the ancestors of the Tesalovich were. And with that, ladies and Gentlemen, damn it. Um, sorry about that. Um, we're gonna stop this episode right here. Want to cut it short because by the time next year, until 1253, that is when we'll fight the Arabian Empire one more time to get Mesopotamia as a whole. If these claimants are still around. Let me check. Yes. They're still around. Young age, too. We'll get Mesopotamia. It'll be a kingdom. Another Bosnian kingdom, but... Or a kingdom within Bosnia. Empire. And then a few years later or sorts, but depending on the rate of the prestige gain, then we will fight against the Byzantine Empire and finally unite the South Slavs. All the remaining lands that's, that we have not taken yet will finally come to us completing the major goal of that series besides forming the kingdom of bosnia from early on in that series <laughs> so south slavia is coming I made mean, not as a name of an empire but just the region in general so we'll hope you join us ladies and gentlemen because we're gonna have another big step on the expansion of the Bosnian realm. As I'm feeling fine now, 
plenty of years left. And I hope I have plenty more left in me. As in, I don't know, episodes or whatever. Which again, I'm starting to wind down on it. Because I feel like I've done all the big accomplishments. But now, it's this. This is left. But we'll see what we can do with Mesopotamia and South Slavia. <laughs> Basically, unifications of Mesopotamia and South Slavia. And until then, so long for now.